Hello, good morning everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And very pleasant morning. Um, so today we are going to focus on um, one activity that you're going to do for this week, which is bio poem. Okay, but before that, <clears throat> uh, maybe you haven't heard of the bio poem before. So in this session, I will explain to you on how to do a bio poem. And at the end of the day, I'm expecting you to uh, submit a bio poem uh, as, uh, as an activity for our classroom. So before I begin, okay, uh, this is the word of the day. Okay, the word is lucrative or lucrative. Okay, lucrative. So this word is an adjective. Okay, if you can see the pronunciation, lu. There are three syllable, lucrative, lucrative, okay. So the definition of this word is producing wealth and profitable, okay. Uh, in in another, another simple uh, way to explain the word lucrative is making you rich or making a lot of money or making a lot of profit, eh? memberi keuntungan. Okay, the example of sentence. It looks like my internet business is pretty lucrative, wouldn't you say? So, menunjukkan bahawa internet business tu memberikan pulangan atau memberikan keuntungan kepada kepada orang yang bercakap ni lah. Okay, looks like my internet business is pretty lucrative, wouldn't you say? Okay, that is uh, one example of of sentence. So maybe you can write this down, write this word down in your book and try to come up with another two sentences to show your understanding of the word lucrative. Okay, again, I say the word is lucrative. Okay, uh, how many of you have ever heard of this type of poem before? Okay, today we are going to focus on bio poem. Okay, you have learned about poem before this. I uh, have learned on a few poems. Uh, during your lower secondary time. So this time we are going to focus or we are, we are going to produce at least one bio poem about yourself. Okay. So bio poem is uh, a poem that is written to express uh, yourself while practicing the use of adjectives and adjectives clauses. Okay. So expressing yourself while practicing the use of adjective and adjective clauses. What is adjective? As you know, adjective is kata sifat. It's des it describes the noun, it des describes a word. Adjective clauses, on the other hand, is not limited to just one word. It is a clause, meaning say longer than one word. Okay, I will explain to you further after this so that you can get better understanding on what is the differences between adjectives and adjective clauses okay so uh what is an adjective what is an adjective so the definition of adjective so word that describes or modifies other words making your writing and speaking much more specific and whole lot more interesting Words like small, blue, and sharp are descriptive, and they are all example of adjectives. So adjective is a word that change or improvise or make the word specific. So that is an adjective. One simple um, example that I can give on adjective is a blue pen. So you can see a uh, is an article. Pen is a noun, and then you have the word blue. The word blue describes the pen itself. Okay, so uh, blue menerangkan pen. So blue describes the, the noun. So that makes blue as an adjective. Another simple adjective, a pretty girl, for example. So girl is a noun, pretty is the adjective. A handsome boy. Handsome is the adjective because it describes the, the noun, which is boy. Okay. What about adjective clause? 
adjective clause, as I mentioned earlier, is not limited to just one word. Okay, it's, it is like a, uh, a related clause or relative clause. Okay. So it is a dependent clause. Adjective clause is also a, a dependent clause. Maknanya dia bergantung. Bergantung ataupun uh, we can say, uh, yeah, it, it, it describe further about one, one, one noun. A dependent clause or adjective clause is a group of words. Remember, just now adjective is only one word. Now, a dependent clause or adjective clause is a group of words that consists of a subject and a verb, yet it's not a complete sentence that can stand alone. Okay, dia tak boleh berdiri sendiri. A dependent clause or adjective clause must have a noun. It cannot stand alone. Okay, I will show you the example so that you can uh, understand further. Okay, so what is a relative clause? In the adjective clause, you must have the relative clause uh words or relative clauses for example you have that where when who whom whose and which and also why okay so this word is important when you want to create an adjective clause okay the sama macam adjective bezanya adjective clause lebih panjang daripada satu adjective saja so adjective clause is longer than just one word adjective for example, okay, Charlie, whose daughter lives in China, has a friend named Alex. So if you can see that Charlie uh, is a subject, and then you have whose daughter lives in China has a friend named Alex, right? Okay. So can you identify the adjective clause? Remember, adjective dia sentiasa menerangkan noun. Okay. So, which one is the adjective? Adjective clause. So, Charlie, whose daughter lives in China, has a friend, has a friend named Alex. Okay. So, the, the clause whose daughter lives in China is the adjective clause. Why do I say this adjective clause? If you remove this clause, the sentence can still stand alone. For example, you remove whose daughter lives in China and you read the sentence without that clause. The sentence still stand. For example, Charlie has a friend named Alex the sentence can still uh, be understood. Okay, you can still understand the, the sentence. The sentence still stand alone. Charlie has a friend named Alex. But if you remember just now, the definition of adjective clause, it cannot stand alone. If you read, whose daughter lives in China without the noun, so the sentence doesn't stand. Okay, so next we have the building which was built in 2010, is now the tallest in the world. The building, which was built in 2010, is now the tallest in the world. Okay. So which one do you think is the uh, adjective clause? Which part of this sentence is adjective clause? Okay, so the building which was built in 2010 is now the tallest in the world. Okay, how do you know that this is adjective clause? You try to remove this clause from the sentence and the original sentence or the remaining sentence still stand. The building is now the tallest in the world. Okay, without adjective clause, you still can understand the, the sentence. Okay. Moving on, okay, this is the first task you are supposed to do in your book. Write down as many positive adjectives you can to describe yourself. 
describe yourself okay write down as many positive adjectives as you as you can okay i will share a link in the description of this video on some adjective lists that you can uh, go through okay so please go through that uh, adjective list that i will share in the description of this video so that you can get more adjective a uh, more positive adjectives okay try not to use the the most common one big small pretty ugly handsome beautiful try to use uh, more than just the the one that is commonly used okay so next in your book please write the following okay so we are going into the bio poem already okay first write your name and then four adjectives okay just now you have written a lot of positive adjectives but right now i want you to choose from the list only four adjectives that describe you and then lover of you you love what so lover of something right who feels what okay what is your feeling okay what is your current feeling or what you always feel and then who wonders not wandering around but wonder think okay who fears takut kenapa who cares about uh, ambil berat terhadap apa who is able to mampu buat apa and who dreams yang impikan apa okay so write this in your book the name your name four adjectives that describe you lover of what your feeling uh, your wonders your fear your care your ability and also your dream okay okay for example okay you uh, maybe you might not have heard of this uh, this name before rumpelstiltskin it's my favorite character a uh, four adjective that describe you horrible greedy bossy and funny lover of riddles can spin straw into gold who feels no one can guess my name who wonders if there is anyone can guess my name who fears nothing unless the person can guess my name who cares about myself and the baby i'm going to take who is able to spin straw into gold like magic and who dreams to overrule people who do not know my name okay so this is just an example i'm taking the example from rumple still skin okay rumple still skin is um it's a fictional character it's a fairy tale character okay from the story rumpelstiltskin so this is the um, description of rumpelstiltskin so once you have done this for example your name and so on okay not necessarily you stick to one one thing eh? for example i use who feel no one can guess my name and then who wonder name and so on you can change not necessarily only who fills one and then you name object you can use your own creativity okay maybe you are you you are afraid of uh, cockroach so your name and then you fear what uh, who fears cockroaches snakes and alligators for example or who feels um, i'm the king of the world for example so make sure you have all this written in your in your book okay next after you have listed down after you have listed down okay write it as a bio poem like this okay example rumple still skin horrible greedy bossy and funny lover of riddles and can spin straw into gold who feels no one can guess my name who wonders if there is anyone can guess my name who fears nothing unless the person can guess my name who cares about myself and the baby i'm going to take who is able to spin straw and to go like magic who dreams to overrule people who do not know my name okay so it's as simple as this 
So make sure you are going to write at the end of the day, a very beautiful bio poem like this. Okay, this is an example. Use your own creativity. You can ask me in the WhatsApp group on how to do it. You can keep on uh, sending your, your updates on how you are doing this. So at the end of the day, uh, maybe uh, in a week time, okay, I want to see the final product that you, you have written. Okay. Okay, so in order for the, uh, in order to submit your work, so I allow you to, to use um, your own, uh, any platform that you are familiar with, uh, as simple as writing in your own book. So maybe you want to draw yourself. Uh, it's like writing a journal, but this time you are writing a poem. You decorate your write-up and so on, maybe with uh, stickers. You want to put some drawing, pictures and so on on your in your book. You are allowed to do so. Or if you are, if you are using your laptop or PC or your phone, you want to use a Jamboard, you are, you are always free to do so. Or you can just uh, use Google Docs or Google Slides and then try to write your poem using Google Docs and Google Slides and then just share with me in the WhatsApp group or send to my e uh, MOE email. Okay, if you have any question, you can just simply ask me in the group, okay? Because at the end of the day, what I am hoping for is that you are able to produce a poem like this in your own book. Okay, you have a week time to do this. So no rush. You don't have to rush. Okay, you can just keep on asking if you, uh, you are not sure about how to do it. Okay, and I will explain further, especially if you are not clear about the additives and additive clauses. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's all for today. Uh, so for today, we are learning about writing a bio poem. Actually, we are also learning uh, on how to use adjective and adjective clauses in sentence. Okay, so not only we write a poem, but we are also um, maximizing the use of language in our, our activity. So that's all I, I guess for today. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.